Hello lovelies and welcome to what I think is probably my first art journal video in a while. So I decided to start small and and yeah go a little easy. Um, my mojo is really yeah it's it's lacking when it comes to art journaling. I'm not quite sure why so I'm taking it slow and getting back into it a little bit at a time and seeing how we go. So I'm starting with the speckled rainbows uh, collage paper from Scrap FX, and I wanted to use these rainbows. Actually, I thought I was going to use this one, but I end up using the scribbled ones um, on my page. So this is a page in my journal, and basically I'm just using this as my title page for September. The way my journal worked out, I had a blank page, so I thought I'd use it as a title page, and I thought these rainbows would be really cute. So I'm cutting them out. Not 100% sure what I'm going to use just yet, but knowing that I wanted to use these on a page. I just love rainbows. They're really cute. So I'm applying some gesso first, just so that my paper will take some of my paint, because this is just regular notebook paper. And this is a, actually a dot journal that I'm using this year. And yeah, I just put some gesso down. Generally, I only writing this. It's only recently that I've been adding a bit of color to it. And yeah, first thing I do is add some gesso because these pages are not designed for any kind of paint or medium for that matter. And then I'm just playing with the placement, wondering what I'm going to do. Now I decided to add some color. Now I'm using Dina Wakely in Ruby and Ocean. I love this color, com color combination together. Although for some reason... I'm not overly fond of it on how it worked out, but you know, it's a really nice color. I actually think it's the, the turquoise or no, it's the greeny one, marine, I think I might, I don't remember. But anyway, <laughs> these are the first two I grabbed out thinking this was the color combination I liked. But yeah, so we're going with it. So I've just added some water to the ocean and just given myself a little area to work with. I'm, I'm working on white space. I'm trying to keep more white space in my art journaling pages because well, I just like the look of it and it's something different for me. And now I'm coming in with that ruby paint and one of the small mark making stamps. I will look up the name of it and put it in the um, Facebook post. And then I'm just stamping that around. And now I've got the nine dots stamp, which is actually one of my absolute favorites. And I know it's called that because I write it on there. Um, and I've just got some white gesso, which yes, I use as white paint. And I'm just plonking that down on, um, on top of my blue, just to give it a bit more texture. Now you can't see it a lot, but it's just enough. It's very subtle. And then I'm gonna bring in a, um, a lead pencil and just, go around some of those circles just to highlight them a little bit and again give it more texture and some of those scribbled lines to go in with the rainbows that I end up using. So I was thinking I was going to have like a focal point in the middle here but I thought oh that'd be a good place to write September and then I thought I would add the numbers from one of my number stamps. So I decide to um, put my rainbows top and bottom fiddle around with them for a bit and then I'm going to use some gesso just to slap them on there. I really do love how organic they are. They look, you know, like you've drawn them on and I love the speckles of splattered paint. You know how much I love a good paint, paint splatter. So yeah, I add to that, of course. So once I'm going to adhere these down, I'm going to add a bit more. Okay, so I've put some paint on my gel plate next to it. I use my gel plate as a palette. And now that I've got that paint there, I don't like to waste paint. Paint doesn't go to waste in this art room. So I am going to add a few little dashed lines. And then because I still have paint and the lines just look a little, I don't know. The circles don't look organic enough for me. So I'm going to go back in and just scribble on those circles with some of that paint and see how it just changes the look of those. They don't look so uniform, so perfect. And they just suit the page better. And then I'm going to add a few random ones here and there as well. And then because I've got the paint, I'm going to splatter some. See, like I said, I love splatters. So I'm going to add some splatters in the red as well. Now, this is where I'm going to add the month. Unfortunately, I'm, I don't like my handwriting and I'm terrible at spacing. So I thought, all right, we'll just leave SEPT as a shortened thing. And then uh, I was going to add, I'm stamping the zero and the nine from one of the number stamps. 
I do add a bit off camera because it just it didn't feel finished to me. So you'll see in the picture that I'm about to show that there's a few little things I've added and um, I think that really helps. I added a bit more. I love my paint pens. So I added a bit more drawing with my paint pens and a few more splatters and that's it. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I'll be back real soon. Bye for now.